Hey y'all, hey, I am here with another, I think, quick DIY. Um, I did a couple of these already, but I am going to um, transform this Dollar Tree sign into a sign of my own. And so I am, first I'm gonna take off the tag. So the first thing I have are these Dollar Tree signs. I don't know if they are still in the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cover this up. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to put down some cardstock craft paper. And I'm going to use this E6000 I just bought. Normally, I would use uh, Mod Podge. But I want to try this E6000 um, spray adhesive to see how this works. And hopefully, it will work great. I got these words from the Dollar Tree, and it came with three words. One says joy, one says blessed, and the other one says peace. And I already have the other two on my wall. I'll show you guys that in a moment. Just, it was in the craft section of the Dollar Tree. So first, I'm going to pop this off. I got this cute little hammer from, don't make me a liar, because I don't know where I got it from. How about that? But I can easily go through and pop this off. And it's okay if you tear the paper because you're actually going to cover it. And so I'm just going to cover it with the scrapbook paper. You can use any theme. Um, I use this because, I don't know, maybe I can use it for Valentine's, but I didn't think about the wording for Valentine's. Um, I was more so thinking about the color. All right, so what I want to do is adhere it to the circle, and then I am going to put that back on with a glue gun, and then I am going to place my joy. Joy is my word for this season. So let's get... And I'm not really going to do too much with this because I have been crafting. Y'all, this is day number, I think, eight. I don't know what I was getting. Oh, was I supposed to shake this? Shake vigorously. Um, and I don't know where I got this from. I may have gotten it from Joanne's. I may have gotten it from Joanne's. So shake it, shake it, shake it. Um, what was I talking about? Oh... I did say joy was my word, and here I have it hanging up in my craft station. I don't know what I was getting into doing all these crafts, thinking I was going to do the 12 days of Christmas, which turns out to be the 12 days before Christmas. I mean, yeah, 12 days of crafting before Christmas, because doing getting them all done, I should have started like in the summertime. Like, for real. So I just want to make sure that I am coating, coating it all the way around. And I guess I could take a um, spoon, not a sponge, a brush, just to make sure that I am getting it all over, especially on the edges, to make sure that it adheres. Now, the only thing is, it's wet. So, I don't know if it's going to bubble up like regular glue. Because I've never used it before. Never used it. Never seen any videos about it or anything. This is the first time I'm actually going to use this. And so, what I did when I actually made this circle is that one of the other ones, I just traced the back of it. And then connected the... Um, the missing, I think I wanted this to, um... oh, I can't even turn it already, guys. It was like stuck, sticking. Just that quick. Where's my, I have a scraper, I think, for my cricket. I think I want to use that. I do have a bone folder, too. I'm working on so many things, y'all. Let me just use this. That 
my table looks a whole hot mess up, huh? Because I have a lot of projects. I have another one sitting right over to my left that um, you guys can't see as soon as I finish this one. Because this one is going to be quick. Now, I am going to use my glue gun for the, uh, to replace the metal back. And I wonder if for my joy, I wonder, can I use the E6000? I'm going to try it. Never tried it before. So let's see. Of course, I don't have my tweezers. But let's see how this goes. That was just some paper. Let's get some paper towel to wipe off. To wipe off the excess glue. And pretty much it's gonna hang. So it's gonna sit overnight. But I have my glue gun. And I'm just gonna glue this right back on into place. I'm not even gonna put like a whole lot of anything on there actually because I have so many decorations. I legit have so many decorations hanging up in my living room more than I normally have and a lot of it is because of um, the world status that we're living in and I'm just trying to make it a joyous occasion so my living room I refer to it as my joy room because there's lights there's decor decorations I didn't light anything up tonight because I'm kind of getting late at the in my studio but i like it it's gonna be plain and simple maybe next year i'll add more to it thought about putting some faux snow all around but again maybe next year <laughs> i'm not I'm, i don't care about that right now so i think i might like this e6000 spray adhesive it's stuck on there really um quick like as soon as I put it on I could not turn it around I could not turn it off all around so I might be good with that all right, all right let me just measure where oh that's the metal part okay all right, so I just have to make sure I get it all around. All right, try to get it close to that green line there. I guess I'm gonna use as my focal measurement. And we're just gonna get this all up. And this was simple and quick and easy, guys. I don't know how much of this I really need. But, yeah. Oh. And when you're working with the glue gun, y'all, y'all gotta move quick. And the thing is, my glue gun, I keep it, I have it in a little holster carrier thing. It actually did not want to stay. And press. I can feel the heat right from here. Let me make sure this is secure in here. And that's it, guys. I said this was going to be quick. It really was quick. Super quick. 
I don't even think I'm going to edit this video. I think I'm going to just post it up just like it is. Now, I am going to let this dry a little bit because I'm going to hang it. But what I will do is I'll show you guys the, um, the other two. Press on it. And then it's probably just good to let it sit overnight just so that the glue can set. But yeah, it's done, guys. Maybe I'll just put it up real quick just to take a picture. that is it before i hang it up i just want to invite you guys to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more diys like this let me know in the comments down below and check out all the scribble scrabble that i wrote down there well you'll be able to follow me on my amazon shop on the blog on instagram wherever zarya's creations is on social media and make sure you tell a friend and don't forget to check out all the rest of the videos. So we're on day nine. There's eight more videos ahead of this. Check out those videos and let me know what you think. And until next time, ciao.